Hi everyone, today I want to show you how you can build a temperature and humidity sensor with the Wemos D1 Mini and two different kinds of temperature and humidity sensors. The first sensor shield is the SHT30 sensor and the second shield is the DHT22. Now let's start with a new Wemos. It comes in this little bag and it also includes different types of pin headers which we have to uh, solder on in order to stack the sensor shields on top of the Wemos. For soldering I use a little trick. We can combine the male and female pin headers together, put them on a breadboard and now we have a nice stand um, for the Wemos to sit in and we can solder the pins easily. I fixed the board and then started soldering. I started in the corners and then climbed my way up the different pins. After soldering we can remove the Wemos from the breadboard, remove the male pin headers and the Wemos is ready for programming. To program our Wemos, we will use the Arduino IDE, which you can download from the official homepage. The software is for free, but you can um, donate to support the Arduino project. The first thing we have to do is to add the following link in the preference tab. I will put it in the description. After that we can search for our ESP boards in the board manager tab and install the library. After doing that we can now select the ESP boards in the Arduino IDE. Now let's connect the board to our computer. Now the next thing we want to do is test if the board is working properly and if we can use the Arduino IDE. So we write a little blink sketch which uses the built-in LED of the Wemos. I defined the corresponding pin for the built-in LED to be an output and then use the digital write method to switch it from high to low and vice versa with one second in between. Now we can upload the final sketch to the Wemos. And while uploading we will see the LED flickering. And when the upload is done we see our nice blinking sketch working. Now that we can upload code to the Wemos with the Arduino IDE we can put on the sensor shield and start with our main program. For our sensor we need a library, so we search the sensor name and download the sensor library from GitHub. After downloading the library zip file, we go to the Arduino IDE and add the zip file to our library manager. After that the library is included and it comes with different example sketches which we can access through the examples tab and just open a small sketch to see if the sensor is working. Let's upload the example sketch and after that open the serial monitor in order to see our sensor readings. And we see it's working and we get data from our sensor. Now that the first sensor is working, let's try the DHT22. Just put it on the Wemos. And we also need a different library for this one. So I will show you a different way how to add a library than before. Go to the library manager, manage library and search for the library you want to install, in this case the DHT22. But as you see I already installed the library. With the library installed we can open up 
a test sketch again to see if the sensor is working properly. At the beginning of the sketch there are certain parameters you can tweak, but since we're using the sensor shield on the WeMOS, um, all the pins align properly and we don't have to change anything here. So we upload the sketch and open up the serial monitor. We see that the sensor is working properly and that it's also pretty hot right now. So that's it for this video. I hope the video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. And in the next video, I want to add the Wi-Fi code to the WeMOS in order to write the sensor data to an SQL database.